Hello, we're live at Build, and we're talking to some awesome developers. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about what you've built? Yeah, I'm Jason Davis. Jason. Steve Roche. Fantastic. And tell us what you built. Yeah, we built uh, Microsoft Movie Creator. In a nutshell, what is it? Well, our goal with, in building Microsoft Movie Creator was to, to give users the ability to create a five-minute movie in about five minutes. Make it stupid simple to make something. Well, we cut a lot of video at Channel 9. It can't be that simple. Do you have something to show us that's sort of an overview of what's going on? Sure. Let's, let's take a look. Without the ocean, it's been there for me in so many ways. It's made me who I am today. I shape different boards for different waves, but I especially like making them go fast. three years old. I remember one day my dad picked me up from school. I was in kindergarten. We drove up to Zuma. He was surfing. He came out and then pushed me into some waves on the shore. The feeling of when I first rode a wave was I found my new playground. Growing up with my dad and fixing cars, he always did everything himself, making it with his hands. To be successful, you have to do something you love. And that's what's so awesome about making surfboards. I'm making things for people to have fun on. I love everything about surfing. Everything about being in the ocean. It's who I am. Surfing is who I am. I'm a surfer. Back when I used to wander, I was always out looking for signs. And they were never there, so I pull them from the air. We all believe in something. Like you, I can't say why. So I'll just breathe in all that air and be happy that it's there. So that's a really cool application. Do you have like a little demo you can show yeah, us? Absolutely. So this is the uh, the app. Let me back out here. So you can create multiple movies. We've already uh, started making one here. This is skate video. Um, essentially, what you do is you pick your footage. Mm -hmm. You can choose videos, photos. You can also um, see your stuff organized by location. You can even connect your OneDrive account. Oh, that's cool. And grab your photos and videos from there. So I've already picked a bunch of stuff here, um, and you can. Uh, most people just start to watch their movie. The, the main thing is people want to put something together very quickly mm -hmm. um, and then get into all of the, the different editing options. So here it's rendering out an actual movie for playback. I'm not going to play it, um, but I'm actually go back and show you some of the other things that you can do. Okay. So you can, for example, drag and drop clips around and change the order of stuff. You can add titles. And this is a new feature in this, uh, this release. Uh, you can um, change font, change color, change the position of the titles on the screen, change the size of them as well. Um, you can uh, 
go into individual clips. So let's go into this individual video clip, and there's options to add text captions on top of it, for example. I see. Um, you can apply a filter to uh -huh. just that one clip. You can do some different rotate functions. You can pan and zoom in, like do a Ken Burns effect. So in essence, it, you, we all take videos and pictures all the time. Yeah. Now we can sort of stitch them together into something that's pretty cool. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and the goal here was to make something aesthetically beautiful very quickly. Um, you, don't, and you don't have to use all of these, these um, editing features. The way we do this to make something good quick is we have themes. Got it. We have movie themes. So the app comes with a handful of themes built in. You pick a theme, and the theme basically has all of the, the um, creative decision making for you. Got it. What filter to apply, what's the duration of each scene, mm -hmm. um, how it transitions from scene one to scene two, etc. And if you don't like any of these themes, you can hit up the theme store and download uh, new themes via our in-app theme store. And that's really, that's really cool for me because I'm not very artistic. Yeah. And so it's really nice to have someone make the artistic decisions. It's, it's fantastic. So what kind of devices is this available on? Yeah, so it's available for all the Surface tablets uh, as well as the Lumia tablets mm -hmm. and then the, the entire range of Lumia devices from all the way from like a, a 530 all the way up to there's a 1520. Well, that's awesome. So, how do, so you're on the design side. Yeah. You're on the engineering side. How do you make all of this work for all of the devices. Can, can you tell me the layout of the project, how it's set up? Um, well, there's a couple uh, elements to that. One, there's the user interface. Right. You know, you have to make it work on something that's as big as a Surface tablet mm -hmm. and something that's down to the small size of like that uh, right. 530 that you have there. And so we spent a lot of time, this is more on Jason's side <laughs> and the designer's side, to make a UI that's flexible enough to work on a big high-end device, uh -huh. and then also where it compresses small, and you can still use all the controls functionally on the low-end devices. So what is, it, what is it written in? Can I ask that? Yeah, of course. So the user interface is C Sharp and XAML. Fantastic. And then underneath that, we have the rendering engine, which is the part that takes all your video clips, all your edit decisions, and all the um, sort of the set of rules from the theme you picked. Right. And that takes all that footage and generates your final video. And that's written in C++ on top of Media Foundation and Direct2D, just using publicly available Microsoft APIs. Uh, that's really cool because you're actually doing some pretty heavy computation on a tiny device. And so I think it's really cool that you're able to leverage the C++ Direct2D stuff and for the design and layout using XAML C Sharp. So what does your project look like? Do you have to create a project, a XAML project for each type of device, or is there a way that XAML helps you sort of fit into all of the devices? Yeah, there's this thing you might have heard of, it's called the Universal Project. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so. universal, universal Windows platform, right? Yeah. And so how does that help you work with all of these devices? Um, well, it makes it nice because we have a single code base. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'd be lying if I said there weren't a couple if defs in there to, for the lower end, well, for the Windows versus the phone yeah, absolutely. projects. Um, and then we do have to do some things for the lower memory devices where we have to sort of limit the output resolutions you can have. You know, you, know, you have a high-end phone that can shoot 4K video. Well, you're not going to get that on the 520. Yeah, it's... Um, but still, you know, using the same code base, we can make a project that works on that 520 pretty much with any video footage you can shoot on that device. You know, you just can't download your 4K video from the internet on right. there. Um, it's, it seems like, a, like when you're going through the technical design process, do you have to think about every device, or does a universal Windows platform sort of help you abstract that away? Or is there discussion about these things? No, it pretty much abstracts it away. There's very little thought we have, you know, when we're designing the whole application as to you know, the capabilities of the devices or not. Um, it's more like when we're doing our design work, we have to make sure it's going to, our design UI is going to scale to both form factors. And then um, 
there's more just performance issues that we have to address when they come up with a lower end devices. That's really cool. So let's take a step back. What was your inspiration for making this application? Um, you know, my background's uh, in competing in the arts and film and video, and, and I grew up um, skateboarding, surfing, making my own home movies and sharing that with my family. And, and even today, now that I have kids, I want to make stuff and send that to grandma. And, you know, honestly, you can spend five hours making a five-minute movie yeah, on done that. PC Suite. And that's a lot of time to invest. So we wanted to make something that you could make that five-minute movie in just five minutes. Um, that means taking away a lot of the, the decision-making, wrapping that up in these themes, um, and simplifying it to pick some footage, watch it, like it, go with that, make some, and then make some edits or changes if, if you want to make uh, some small modifications. That's fantastic. So there's nothing more satisfying than for a developer to make something that people use. Tell me, what's the reaction been so far on this application? Really good. So we launched uh, Movie Creator as a beta, mm -hmm. and it's still in beta back in November 2014. Uh, we're averaging about 100,000 downloads a month. Wow. Uh, four and a half star rating. Uh, we've also got a, a beta feedback email address um, built into the app. So you can go to the information tab, um, email us directly, give us feature requests, tell us what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. Um, and then we've actually incorporated uh, a lot of the feedback that we've gotten since November in the release that's going, it should be live now in the store as of this morning. We published it this morning Fantastic. with some new features. Well, that's awesome. Any, anything we could do to learn more about this? Where can people go, name, et cetera? Um, actually, the, the beta feedback email um, address is probably the best place to, to okay. give us direct feedback. Um, you'll find uh, there's some support sites uh, on Microsoft.com uh, if you have any support questions. Um, other than that, I would, I would encourage you to go to the store, download the app, and start playing with it. All right. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Any parting words for our viewers? Uh, no. Go out there thanks and make some good videos. Exactly. 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 Use thanks. the app. Have fun. Well, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.